Other than Jean, you say that yoga helps with multiple sclerosis and you have quite some experience with patients. Mm -hmm. How can multiple sclerosis uh, be treated with yoga and how can yoga help? Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder. Modern science doesn't know the cause of multiple sclerosis. But according to yoga therapy, it is a psychosomatic ailments. Even if we have the gene of a disease in our system, many diseases coming out when we pass through the stress. So stress is a one of the cause of multiple sclerosis. It's a damage to the central nervous system. One advantage is, is that it's very slow progressing disease. But the people who get multiple sclerosis they have worry about the disease because they have the information that it is not curable and your death will be connected with that. That fear aggravates the disease. This is happening in most of the autonomy, autoimmune disorders like cancer. People die because of the fear. So when they know that there is no solution for that, it increases their stress and it can even lead many other diseases. But a proper lifestyle and proper yoga practice can arrest at least the progress of the disease. And if someone is really will and trust towards this practice, he can even cure the disease. So we have a lot of practices to slow down the mind. And we have practices to strengthen the immune system. For example, pranasthavaga kriya or prana channelizing is a very good practice by using our will, we can deal with our prana. Through Vyana Prana, we are dealing with other pranas which strengthen our immune system and it rectifies the natural curing system. Once our system is pure and relaxed, the natural cure system will work and it can cure all the diseases. I had one patient in Prague. She was very enthusiastic and she has very good trust on me. She had a very busy life. She had children and a very busy life. And she was studying and she was uh, doing work also. She had gone through some medication once in a week. After this medication, two days, she is completely sick. She cannot go out. She has to rest in the bed. Same time she has to work, she has to earn the money, but she regularly without miss a single day she practice the practices which I give. And in one year she found the symptoms she had like nimness is almost completely gone. Then I recommend her to approach the doctor and ask about whether she has to continue this medication which she is taking once in a week. First the doctor could not believe because he, he believed that this, this is, is not going to cure, it is not going to go back. Then the doctor did two weeks different uh, tests, finally she could able to stop that medicine. So the trust and intense practice, intense practice not the physical practice, but in the mental side is very important. Here we have to select the practices according to level of the person, level of the disease. If the person is in advanced level, we have to give very mild movements because any over exercise can damage more. Same time we should keep a moderate exercise which help us to keep the strength of our nervous system and the muscles. We give the same practices or same approach towards the muscular dystrophy also. It's also uh, the same kind of disease. Even though one is affecting on the muscle, the other one is affecting on the nervous system. But the, our approach is the same way. So multiple sclerosis and muscular dystrophy is very responding towards yoga therapy. Especially when the disease is in advanced stage, the patient is not able to do many exercises. 
in that stage prana sthapaka kriya or prana channelizing is very useful people can go to deep relaxation and they get, they feel very energetic and their immune system get strengthened by this practice any special diet help uh, for ms patients yes it's very important to change our diet towards vegetarianism because of a certain medicine using in modern science towards this disease doctors recommend to take meat in order to compensate certain nutrition but it is not necessary to use meat even if you are using those medicines you can use the seed of many vegetables like pumpkin and cucumber you can use directly or by roasting slightly which will compensate the nutrition which you are losing uh, from the when you avoid the meat because when you are getting some certain nutrition from the meat same thing it is also giving lot of side effect meat is a tamasic food which can increase the disease meat is recommended to only for the warriors in vedic culture because they should be very active rajasic they should able to kill the enemies tamasic character only the warriors are recommended to meat, use the meat all other human being has to follow vegetarian diet the over consumption of the meat is the cause of cancer and the disease like multiple sclerosis and muscular dystrophy in modern society so we have to use lot of food with fiber and a lot of salad and it's recommended to use the sweet fruits better to avoid sour food generally human being is more responding to, towards the sweet food food more than sour food any other specific uh, advice for ms patients what should they can do in for the stress for special meditation exercises vijnana upadesha is very important for this disease they should have a very confident and positive mind what they have to understand is that it's a very slow progressing disease once they diagnose the disease at the age of 30 if they just for a simple life they don't need to do any advanced pranayama any advanced meditation just follow simple diet and simple life they can live at least 30 years without any support and if they are ready to spend little bit more time for yoga therapy they can live at the till 60 or 70 year very healthily without any stress then i will tell it's a boon that they diagnose this disease because of that they will get a stressless and happy life if they follow the yoga therapy otherwise they follow all the tough and rough life and they get some other disease so mainly the simple pranayamas like nadi shuddhi follow vegetarian diet and stress releasing practices in the beginning the chakrika vishranti or cyclic relaxation is very useful and prana channelizing also you can practice in the beginning as well as in the advanced stage so you would say somebody following this yoga therapy they can postpone the future multiple sclerosis even without any additional medication or you recommend continuing the medication in the beginning stage you don't need to take any medication you just follow yoga therapy if it is an advanced stage sometime when you have attack in order to ask that you can use some medi- medication but in the long term even yoga therapy alone is sufficient the resting or even improving yes for example the practice of the ashini mudra and vajroli mudra is very important for these people because in advanced stage they lose the control over the uh, urination and discretion so if they start practicing this in advance 
they will not have this problem. So once they started practicing from the beginning stage, they can live all life without any medicine. They don't die because of this disease, they may die with some other disease. Sounds like a very encouraging message for anybody diagnosed with MS. Thank you very much, Harry Haji. Thank you.